Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups, and it's time for the weekly pop culture wrap up. That's right, everybody. Time for the weekly pop culture wrap up. It's the show where I go over the week's pop culture news, mostly comic books and movies. Let's get right into it with some comic book news. In September, we have The Return of Wolverine. It's going to be a follow up to Hunt for Wolverine, a new mini series by Charles Soule and Steve McNiven. They, of course, are the creative team that killed Wolverine a few years ago, a couple years ago, whenever it was, in Death of Wolverine. So, um, I don't know. I'm not the most excited about this team. I haven't really liked the Death of Wolverine and the Hunt for Wolverine. All that stuff hasn't been impressing me that much. One interesting thing about the return of Wolverine, though, is that he's got a new set of powers, it seems now, that his claws are going to heat up. That seems unnecessary. I don't understand how that's actually going to be beneficial or a help to Logan, but I'm very excited that he's coming back again finally in full and he's just gonna be back and then we're gonna get a new wolverine book and he's in the uh the yellow and blue and i think that's pretty cool we got the creative team announced for spider geddon this september it's gonna be christos gage and jorge molina um i wasn't the biggest spider verse fan so this news doesn't excite me that much but it doesn't turn me off there is a silhouetted character on here it's a spider-man they have yet to reveal i guess or don't want us to know exactly who it is but if you're a spider-man fan you like all the different types of spider-man and spider women from across the multiverse this is definitely going to be the story for you. In an interview with a podcast, Ralph Macchio, who used to edit over at Marvel Comics, revealed that Marvel is working on three Conan books right now, set in three different time uh, periods of the Conan story. So we know that Marvel's getting those rights back. They should start pretty much in January 2019. So no creative teams announced or nothing, but it seems like they're working on three books. That's kind of exciting. Um, As Guardians of the Galaxy is a new book by uh, Cullen Bunn and Matty O'Lolly. Um, I don't know. It's got a weird team. You got Angela, Valkyrie, Scourge, Throg, which is the Thor frog, um, Destroyer, and the Son of Thunderstrike. This is the son of Eric Masterson. So that's interesting. And I don't know. This it doesn't really excite me that much. These characters, this team, it just I don't I don't know. I'm actually surprised no one's ever thought of As Guardians of the Galaxy before, so that seems interesting. Also, Kick-Ass has a new creative team as of issue number seven. It's going to be Steve Niles and Marcelo Frusen. Um, I like Frusen's artwork. I think it's a pretty capable artist. Um, Steve Niles has done some really good stuff, most notably 30 Days Night, but I really have been liking the new Kick-Ass book, and Hit Girl's been decent, but now we got Jeff Lemire and then Kevin Smith coming on. Now we got Steve Niles and Frusen coming on to Kick-Ass. So basically, we now know for certain uh, we already knew this, but it is official. We know the teams that are coming in after Mark Millar to keep these books kind of continuing. So that's what we got comic book-wise. Movie-wise, there's a lot of trailers that announced uh, that were revealed this week. I checked them out. First of all, the Halloween trailer. I've been kind of against this whole Halloween movie because I think it's unnecessary. I think it makes the characters just way too old. Like, I don't really care about a 70-something-year-old Michael Myers. I don't know. But I watched the trailer, and it looks really cool. The favorite part is they retcon everything out uh, from Halloween Part 2. Big stuff there. So that's exciting to me. The movie actually looks cool. It looks like it's going to kind of capture that tone of the original. I'm a huge H2O fan. It also feels a little bit like that, but it actually was very surprised with that trailer. I watched the Predator trailer just a few minutes ago, actually, the new Shane Black Predator movie, and it looks decent. It looks all right. I guess the big reveal of the of the new bigger, badder Predator at the end was pretty significant. I've never really been that big of a Predator fan, so it just looks like a cool action movie. I guess that's neat. Um, Into the Spider-Verse, that trailer was uh, revealed, uh, the new one. So that comes out in December. It's going to be an animated film featuring Miles Morales as Spider-Man. Of course, Peter Parker's in it as well. And, of course, Gwen Stacy, Spider-Woman, Spider-Gwen. So that's really cool. Um, the animation style looks great. The story looks great. The voice acting seems great. I, it looks great. I'm really, really excited for that. See Miles hit the big screen, even though it's just animated animated movies. Like Batman Mask of the Phantasm is one of the best comic book movies ever, right? So just because it's animated doesn't mean nothing. This, I'm really pumped for this movie, absolutely. I watched the First Man trailer. It's basically the story of Neil Armstrong, First Man on the Moon. Ryan Gosling is playing the character. Um, the trailer looked really good, but it seemed like it unnecessarily had a lot of, like, super high tension, like, dun, dun. I, like I don't know. Like, I understand the stress of everything that's involved with him and his family and his you know, his associates, like, with what it would take to go to the moon and would he even come back. But the trailer kind of makes it seem like, oh, it's very ominous. And, like, you, you know, guys, you know, we know he, he made it and, he, and, they, and they came back. But that does look like a really cool movie. Um, they just announced that Jared Leto's Joker is getting his own solo movie, but Todd Phillips' Joker movie that, uh, 
Joaquin Phoenix was supposed to be in. That's still happening. So there's all these different Joker movies going on right now. I think that's, I, I honestly do not think Warner Brothers at this point has a vision, has any kind of clue what they're trying to do. I don't know. I seriously don't know. DC Comics is rocking right now, but their movies are just like falling flat on audiences. Even when they have a hit, it just feels kind of, I don't know, man. It just feels like there's a lack of cohesion and direction and vision at DC Films, and they really need to kind of figure that out because obviously Marvel's got that vision set. Um, so all these Joker movies seems really, really unnecessary. I don't, I don't even know what they should do. What do you think DC should do with their movies? I have no idea. Just start over completely again? Maybe, but Wonder Woman's a hit, right? So they're doing a new Willy Wonka movie. We've got three actors on the short list. Ezra Miller, who played The Flash in the Justice League movie. That would be cool. Ryan Gosling, who is playing Neil Armstrong in the uh, First Man movie I was just talking about. And Donald Glover. Donald Glover as Willy Wonka would be awesome. I would be so down for that. That would be very, very exciting. Um, I was excited when Johnny Depp played the role, but this would excite me. Like, seriously, I think that's that's awesome. So that's what we got for you this week. That's what I thought about it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. We got upcoming PCP stuff tonight. We got a live stream, 7 o'clock Central Time, so be on the lookout for that. We're going to be chatting about comic books and pop culture and movies and all that stuff and more tonight here on the channel. We've got a new podcast coming out this week all about fantasy. The Pop Culture Philosophers podcast can be found at popculturephilosophers.com. You can subscribe on iTunes, other places like that. So be on the lookout for that. Very exciting. we got t-shirts, stickers, mugs, and more now at TeePublic. i got a link down below and you can help support PCP by buying some really cool swag and merch. We're also on patreon.com slash PCP where you can help support the channel as well. Get early access to certain videos and get exclusive content including a newsletter and the PCP After Hours podcast. And don't forget, Tomorrow's Monday, that means it's Movie Monday, and we're doing Spider-Man Part 2 from Sam Raimi. So we're revisiting the Spider-Man movie, all that and more up this week, including the comic book review and the next weekly pop culture wrap-up and all that jazz. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel, and please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for rocking with us, and keep on keeping on.